name's Shane Burrell, I'm from New Zealand. I've been chief umpire in a number of world match racing tour events around the world. What makes match racing a little unique as opposed to other sports is that the competitors actually ask the umpire to come in and, and be involved and make a decision. Whereas other sports like rugby or soccer, the, the referee's more proactive. He goes in, he sees an infringement, he makes a decision. Whereas what the, uh, what the sailors do to ask the umpire to give them a decision when they believe there's been an infringement of the rules, they display a Y flag. So you'll see the sailor waving the Y flag and normally calling something like protest. And what he's asking the umpires to do is give, he believes there's been a rule infringed and he wants a decision from the umpire. The race boats are always identified as with a yellow flag or a blue flag and typically the process the umpires use is that one umpire essentially he talks about the boat like he's on board, I'm the starboard boat, I'm the right of way boat, if I hold a course I've got to give you room. And the other umpire who's on the other boat he'd say I agree, I'm the port boat, I'm keeping clear, if you hold a course toward me you must give me room to keep clear. So both they're talking about rights, reasons and obligations. So typically when we see a Y flag displayed from the boat, the umpire should be pretty much on the ball and they're saying, you've given me room, I haven't kept clear, therefore it's a penalty on the blue boat. So we'd get a Y flag like this displayed, then the umpires make a decision. If they agree the blue boat's infringed, they'll raise a blue flag, they'll whistle, and that will mean that there's been a penalty awarded to the blue boat. If they believe that the blue boat hasn't infringed, or a boat hasn't infringed, they'll display the green and white flag. And that means that no penalty is awarded to either boat. Again, they blow a whistle, raise the green and white flag, and that means that racing continues, no boat's been penalised. Typically, all penalties these days are delayed. If they raise a coloured flag with a red, it means they must take the penalty immediately. And the penalty is if the boat's on a leg to windward, that's on a, on a leg to the, to the windward mark, they must take a jibe penalty. They must go turn away from the wind, jibe, and then come back to close haul. If they take, if they're on a downwind leg, they've got to take a tack penalty, which means that they need to come through, through head to wind, tack, and down to a downwind course, and they've completed their turn. And whilst they're taking a penalty turn, they have to, they have to keep clear of another boat that's not doing the penalty. If they get two flags, the first flag is a delayed penalty. The second flag uh, means that the, the second penalty must be taken immediately. So essentially, the second penalty is like a red flag penalty. It, it must be taken immediately. They, they can't delay taking the penalty. Two and ways it, of offsetting a penalty. What you can do is go and, and, and get a penalty against the other boat. So therefore, if the yellow has an outstanding penalty, they're looking to get a penalty on the blue boat, and that offsets. So the blue boat's penalised, both flags come down. Um, if, if, they, if the leading boat has an outstanding penalty, typically they'll try and take their penalty. There's, it, it, there's two ways of taking it. Quite often they'll take it um, on the ley line, close to the top mark, if they believe they've got a sufficient lead, normally, depending on the boat, around about four to six boat lengths. Um, more often these days you're seeing the boat coming down to the finish line. They've got to take their spinnaker down. The spinnaker head has to be below the gooseneck uh, before they go through head to wind and then they'll come down to a, uh, a downwind course and typically try and get the boat positioned that as they come to a downwind course, the bow crosses the line and they cross the line as, they, as they've as completed their penalty. The flag, the, the rules say when a boat has more than two penalties. So, so typically, or sorry, yeah, more than two outstanding penalties. So a boat gets a penalty, that's an outstanding delayed penalty, gets a second penalty, they must, as soon as reasonably possible, sail clear and take that penalty. If they don't do that, or they infringe again before they take that second penalty, the umpires will award a third penalty, that means they have more than two outstanding, and typically you'll see the, the, the coloured flag go up with the black, which means that boat's been disqualified, and the match is awarded to the other boat. Yes. Now, the, the, the Appendix C, which is the match racing appendix, it modifies the standard rule somewhat, in that there's no request for redress um, for the decisions of an umpire. So therefore, if the, if, the, if the competitors are not happy with the decision of the umpire, it's not, it's not a, 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 a a, um, area they can go and ask for redress. If they believe another boat's infringed um, and it's not a part two, part two rule, and the part two rules are the rules that govern when boats meet, they can they can raise a, a protest flag and they can and protest the other boat. If there's been an incident that's caused damage, they can protest the other boat. Or if they believe there's been an infringement by the race committee or an improper action rather by the race committee, they can request redress as well and we'll have a hearing for that typically.